Is the church confused about whether or not it supports homosexuality? Confused or not? Yes. We're never confused about anything. What is we the know, position know, of know, the we church? Know, we know, we know, we know, eh? What is? What is the position of the church on that? On homosexuality, clear. Homosexuality is a tendency which can lead to action. Okay? As a tendency in itself, nobody can accuse you or blame you for being what you are. But what you do, your action, can be reprehensible to a country, a state, or whatever, because it goes against its norms or its laws or whatever type of thing. So the two things that should not be mixed. I mean, if somebody wants to wear earrings or feels that this is what I am, fine, that's what you are. I can't I can, I can, I can have problem issues with you. But if you say this is what I am, therefore I'm going to do something that a particular community or society I live in, mm. take objection to, that's what it's in the case of the Christians or people of the Bible, that's where, that's where they say biblical, whatever, concerns certain acts are sinful. Should Ghana then go ahead to sign the anti -gay Ghana, law? Ghana is not all Christian. Ghana is not all Muslim. Ghana is a different whatever. So to say you adopt this to impose a, the viewpoint of, in this case, I, I speak as a Christian, on whatever would also not be fair. Okay, if, if the Christians in Ghana, the Muslims in Ghana, or whatever, will come together and say this, we agree that this is a common thing, then, you know, then we'll have something like that. Mm. But in the absence of that, we need to recognize uh, the diversity of faith and, uh, you know, postures of uh, uh, beliefs that people have. I see. So then, you know, when the Catholic Bishops' Conference had a different position from that of the Pope, when... They didn't uh, have... No, no. So you're throwing two things together. I'm putting two things together. <laughs> yeah, okay. Putting, Shed some putting, light on yeah, that. No. So the, 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 bishop, the Bishop of Ghana did not disagree with the Pope. The, what the Bishops of Ghana, uh, uh, you know, uh, express, well, expresses that a document, a document uh, is supposed to... Uh, came from one office... Okay, of the Vatican in charge of discipline of uh, faith and all of that. And that office, that uh, document suggested a possible blessing of gay couples. Okay, that's when, that's when the bishops were saying, if you bless a couple, it's tantamount to recognizing their marriage. And if you recognize their marriage, then you're also recognizing their sexual relations and all of that. So you're basically condoning uh, homosexuality. That was a protest. But Okay, and this is a big but. But, so the documents that came from out there, the guy realized that he didn't do enough consultation and whatever type of thing about, about this document, and so began to do some more. With it. And now the end of the so the Tim Pope was saying that he's for blessing of persons, not the blessing of couples. Mm. Okay, so, and he, so, you know, you may be in relation with anybody. But if you, come, if you came to me alone asked to be blessed, I have no problem. I, I should not have a problem blessing you. Right. If you came as a couple, asked me to bless, then that blessing entails, okay, blessing a union. And a union of two, as what? I know, again, for, for, for the sake of this interview, I know cases where two men live together without intending to marry. They say they live together for company. Okay, so they will not go and ask for marriage. Mm -hmm. I also know a married man who lives with a wife, both of them are married, and they say, we've decided not to have sex. So you have these variations. Therefore, I mean, if two men came and they say, we're living together for company, because what becomes objectionable for the church and other right. faith is, is their sexual, whatever type of thing. Indeed. That is where... So, so your eminence, because you've spoken about this before, I want to create the opportunity for you to clarify a lot of things. Okay. Um, you told the BBC... Yes. ...that if this did not have a place... I mean, that was the argument that you made. Uh, you know, there's an expression in Ghanaian languages like a kan, mm -hmm. where men who act like women and women who Babies, act like yeah. men, indeed... And you argued that this was an indication that homosexuality was not an imposition from outside of our concept. Um, and if culturally we had the expressions, it means that it's not completely alien. The phenomenon the is not completely alien. And indeed, that's the case. The phenomenon, as I express it, 
which is uh, referred to traditional being based here, it's, 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 it's the way people are. And you cannot, you cannot have a problem with that. Okay, so that phenomenon of being based here, I didn't coin that expression. It means in the society, people are seeing that this is a man, but he has like a woman or mm -hmm. whatever type mm -hmm. of thing. It's a phenomenon. People can display that phenomenon without any, any issue. So those, I'm saying, should not be criminalized. That's what the other part of the argument Indeed. of BBC. Should not be criminalized. You criminalize them for what? For, for just being what they are? Mm. You criminal only acts, things that people have done which you find reprehensible. If people like that, in the case of the law in Ghana, go and find another man or whatever type of thing, begin to, that's when, that's when the thing about the act can be found, be found to be reprehensible and can uh, but, but, face but, whatever. But our law will criminalize Just uh, being not a only phenomenon. the act, but also, you know, if you dress I'm not, I'm not, up I'm, like... I'm, I'm not sure the law criminalizes people for being based for just being being based Oh, it, it does. It, it talks no. about people who cross-dress as well. Or you're being in Bessia, or she maybe put on a skirt or something. And, and so such, such a person is put into prison. Uh, you, you, it's criminalized, yes. Oh, well, I, I'm, okay, so. Uh, Are I'm, you I'm surprised not, by that? No, no, yes, I'm surprised that because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feeling, I mean, who controls how one is born? And if one is born this way, why does it in itself constitute a crime? My criminality, crim, criminal, crime, crime is based on acts. Something that you are counter with whatever. Mm -hmm. If there's no act that makes somebody, you know, that for an act irreprehensible, well, the, if that's what I am, I, I'm born. And, and the other part of that is your admi admonition to developed countries who are beginning to, to use, indeed. And, I, you know, I want you to address that well, because, again, in the case of Ghana, the argument for pro um, homosexuality advocates is is the fear that Ghana would now become a, a state that is not able to access uh, development funds, perhaps. Sure, that, that, this is this again. This again, uh, putting pressure. I mean, this this, this happens only when a, a country is poor, and and in like Ghana, sometimes uh, some aspects of our budget is financed from you know some said donations and great whatever. Issue with this type of issue. Issue with this is uh, that. Sometimes the, those who argue, argue from the point of view of rights, okay, that people have rights to become this and they have rights to yeah. become whatever, they have rights to become whatever. You have people right to become everything, but every right is also goes with responsibility. And, and then that's where you determine, does the society have a role in determining the, the living of rights and its corresponding responsibility or not? Mm. Okay, so, so this, is, this is something that needs to be recognized. But the thing about European, European feeling, whatever type of thing, I mean, what Europeans feel should not become a law for how Ghanaians should feel. That, 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 that's, that, that should not be the case. What we feel never becomes a law for them. In this case, they, they, they talk as if can because they are in the position to impose. You know, Indeed. grants, you need money, whatever. Therefore, you don't do it. They say, well, what? Neocolonialism. Your, your right? Eminence, uh, the Catholic Church has engaged in more infrastructure across the world than any other church organization. 